Welcome to Front Sight Firearms Training Institute, located just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Brad Ackman, and I am your Director of Training. We are the dominant force in personal protection and self-defense. Hi, I'm Amber Robertson, and I'm from Fresno, California, and I'm a nursing student. This is my dad, and I've been here once before. I'm back to upgrade my skills, and I think it's really important to learn how to defend myself. All you want to do is hook the shoulder and block with the other hand this way. Keep the muzzle downrange. Did you have your breakfast this morning? Keep the muzzle downrange. That's smooth, steady pressure. Walk to the front side. Reset. So it's the end of day one and it's been a super fun and exciting day. The first trigger pull that I had, I was, I was nervous and kind of afraid a little bit, but as the day went on it got a lot better and I'm looking forward to tomorrow to learn more tactics and to how better prepare myself. For the first part of this exercise, we're going to pretend that this is a wall and this is a hallway. So I want you at the ready, looking right at the edge of this corner. Now I want you to start to step trail towards me. Each time you're going to take a little slice of that hallway. Good. When you get to the edge, I want you to take a little step and lean just to get your eye and the muzzle around the corner. Now as you come up to the door, bring it to close contact, keep that muzzle high towards the middle of the door. Step closer, all right, soft check the doorknob. Fling it open, step back and out to the ready. Good. Now, I want you to step trail towards your closest wall first. Start working your way back around, step and trail. You're gonna keep coming until you get all the way to where this wall would be. All right, you're gonna go back out to about a 45 degree angle. Now, as you come through, it's just gonna be a normal walk. When you cross through the plane of the door, bring it in close, check, check, right back out to the ready. Bring it in, quick check, quick check, right back out to the ready. Good. So I just found out we're gonna go over to the simulator bay and I'm really excited and kind of nervous, but I wanna see if my training can be put to the test. All right, for the time being, this is going to be your down range. The range is clear, firing drill. Once you're satisfied with the loaded condition of your weapon, remain at the ready. All right, so the scenario here is, you come home, you see bad guys. They run into your house and they slam that door shut, making your screaming and yelling from inside so you know your loved ones are in danger. You've already called the cops and they're 20 minutes away. That's too much time, we have to do something. Let's go ahead and begin. Gun in close, muzzle up high. Good. Grab that cover. Good. Gun in close. Go ahead and unload. All right, let's go ahead and talk about our targets. Oh, we got some pretty good hits on them. Might have been shooting a little bit too fast, kind of pulled this one off. <laughs> now also, you didn't see this guy until you got into the room. You could see him from all the way outside. So one of the things that shuts down and we get during the middle of a gunfight is tunnel vision. So what should we do to break away from that tunnel vision? Check. After action drills, good. Now let's look at this target. Now he's not a threat to us, right? Because we have a cell phone in the hand. He's probably calling 911, so he's not a threat to us. Now let's see this bad guy. Hey, let's see, we got a hit right here, we got a miss. Remember we want to go for the single designated headshot? Guarantee the three secrets. Sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control. Okay. okay. All right, now with this guy, we got a good center thrust cavity hit right here. And we might have been shooting a little bit too fast during recoil and could have gotten a little bit of a double tap right here. 
Okay. All right, now let's look at this lady right here. Now she's not a threat either, right? Because she's got a wallet and a purse. Not a contact weapon of any kind, okay? All right, now this guy right here, we've got a good thrust cavity hit. And then once again, we have another one high, so we could have been shooting too fast again. Good. Let's go ahead and come out through the front. So I just got out of the simulator bay. It was really exciting, and I had a lot of adrenaline going because it was like a real life experience. Um, there are things that I did good, and there are things that I didn't do so good. But the instructor was really helpful in feedback and told me what I did wrong and how I can improve it. So that was really good. So the solution to fixing all the things that I did wrong was coming back and practicing, obviously. So I'm really excited for tomorrow to come back and practice and also to come back in the future to perfect more. Certificate of Achievement, Amber Robertson. Woo! Nicely done, Amber. Well done. Go, Amber! I feel like I got really good training here at Front Sight. It makes me feel a lot more confident that I can go out in the world and I'm able to protect myself if the need should ever arise. I really like the instructors that they have here at Front Sight. They're very helpful and they encourage you when you need encouragement and they can point out what you're doing wrong so that you can do better in the future. And a thank you to Dr. Piazza for building a place like this and teaching the general public how they can protect themselves and to use firearms safely. I can't wait to come back and to do more training and to see what the other courses they have here have to offer. Thank you for watching. Like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. And you can find those links below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay current on your training and the latest developments at Front Sight.